Hi everyone, this is Zhen Qi. I'm working on the ONIC project at SkyMaster Taiwan. In this lab, I will talk about how to set up the working environment with the pre-built Docker images. I will demonstrate how to build the ONIC compiler and use it to compile the models in the Docker container. And then, I will talk about how to run the model inference on the released virtual platform. Before we get started, you need Docker and Git support on your host machine. If you don't have them installed, please refer to our tutorial for the installation details. Once you have the support ready, please use git clone command to download the ONIC source code and the ONIC tutorial material from our GitHub repository. You need both repositories for the rest of the tutorial. In addition, we provide two Docker images, ONIC community and ONIC BP. You may pull them from the Docker Hub repositories as well. Once everything is ready, the first thing is to build the ONIC binary from its source code in the ONIC community Docker. Although we include a copy of ONIC source code in a pre-built Docker image, we strongly encourage you to mount the current source code in your preferred folder to the Docker container. By doing so, you can make sure that any changes made to your local copy will keep intact even after the container is killed. In addition, you may also use your favorite editor to modify code in this way. To build the ONIC binary, you can use the command docker run to bring out the ONIC community docker container and mount the ONIC source code and ONIC tutorial that you crowned in the beginning. The minus V options mount the local file system to the container's file system and then use command as make to build the ONIC binary. It synchronizes the build folder with the mounted ONIC source code and invokes the command make to build it. If you have a multi-core CPU, you may use minus J option to make compilation faster. Once you have the ONIC binary ready, you may use it to compile an ONIC model. Here, we provide a real-world model, LANET, to demonstrate how the compilation is done. This model is quite popular for handwritten digit recognition. Again, the compilation is done in the darker. After the model is compiled, it will generate an output file called loadable file. It contains the NVDLA inference details of the compiled model. The first command is to compile the name model using ONIC to keep the loadable for later inference in another Docker image. We need to move it to the mounted ONIC tutorial folder instead of leaving it in a build folder in the Docker container. Otherwise, you will lose the loadable when you leave the ONIC community Docker container. Up to this point, we already have a loadable file for running inference on the NVDLA virtual platform. NVIDIA released a pre-built virtual platform along with the source code. You may follow the official instructions to build a virtual platform from scratch. In this tutorial, we prepare an ONIC VP Docker image to simplify the steps. When you bring out an ONIC VP Docker container, remember to mount your ONIC tutorial folder to it. There is an executable called ARC64 top label. It's located in the user local NVDLA folder in the ONIC VP Docker container. It provides a NVDLA runtime environment with a CPU model and a NVDLA system C model. Before running the emulator, 
please copy the loadable file to the user local NVDLA folder. You may use ARC64 tab label to launch the virtual platform. And you will see the build root welcome message in Nina's prompt like you can see on the slide. When you see the Nina's prompt, please log in as root and the password is NVDLA. After logging into the Nina's prompt, you may use mount command to mount the share folder and then use the command ins mode to install the drivers we need. Up to this point, everything is ready for running model inference. Here, we use an input file, input0.pgm, to demonstrate how to run model inference to recognize a handwritten digits. The program, NVDLA Runtime, will invoke the user mode driver, pass the loadable file, and call the KMD APIs for inference. The inference simulation will take a few minutes. When you see the last message in the slide, test pass, it means the inference is done. When the inference is done, you will find an output file, output.dimg, containing the output values of the model. In this example, we dump the output file to the terminal. There are 10 numbers in the output file, indicating the confidence level of the 10 digits from 0 to 9. For example, the first number, 149.25, indicates the confidence level of digit 0, and the next number indicates the confidence level of digit 1, and so on. Among those numbers, the biggest one implies the recognition result. In this case, the first number is the biggest one, so the handwritten digit is zero. Thanks for watching the lab one of Onig tutorial.